parents and students, and particularly parents, uh, really gravitate towards that notion of all things being equal, then what? That happens frequently in discussing institutional priority when discussing the relevance of extracurricular activity, the relevance of anything else really but academics. It's this idea that, well, all things being equal, then what? What happens? And that's, that's the big what if when it comes to this whole process. And I think that highly selective institutions or those that would call themselves highly selective, Johns Hopkins being one of them, we have an embarrassment of riches when it comes to quality. Uh, it's not just um, <laughs> it's not just minimum uh, criteria. It's not just do you fit the basic profile. I think it's so much more than that, uh, and that's where uh, complications can arise. That's where disappointments emerge from, and that's where these you know, astonishing decisions. Um, that's where they're produced from, and it's it's that kind of, of middle ground um, when you're taking a look at at that moment when all things really do feel equal, how do you, how does one admission committee seek to, to make those, those really difficult decisions? And that's where the human element comes into play. It's this idea of uh, this process actually being conducted by, by humans. It's not computerized. I think that most institutions value themselves on what we call holistic admission, which is this idea that um, the whole student is reviewed and the whole student is reviewed by another thinking, breathing person. And as a result, um, that's where you have this opportunity to really delve into what that student has to offer at a deeper, in a deeper kind of way. Uh, and I think it's different for each institution, those uh, more abstract sorts of qualities that they're seeking to, to find or to, um, those qualities that will bubble to the surface. But it is sort of that, that notion of uh, the combination of extracurricular activity, of social contribution, of global outreach, of you know, all of those uh, vagaries that sort of persist in, in this process. Uh, it gets down to, to passion often. And I recall a college fair early in my career where I began to rattle off such uh, abstract phrases as, um, as, as investment in, in sort of the greater good and, and passion and engagement and things like that. And this lovely mother, she said, passion, what do you mean by passion? Explain. And I, I realized what she was saying. I realized what she was forcing me to articulate and how difficult that actually was. So when it comes down to it, I do think that um, so often all things truly aren't equal. Really, at the end of the day, we can make some distinct decisions. Um, but when it does come, push comes to shove, and we're left with that sort of middle core of students, what on earth are we to do? I do think that we start taking a look at the bigger picture and at the different types of personalities that have, again, bubbled to the surface and finding those that seem to fit best with what it is that we are seeking to do.